So kind of going off of the story from last time where I was talking about uh, Windows XP and how I was able to get access to a floppy drive in my computer class to get images off the floppy for my PowerPoint presentation. Um, and just how silly all the way through the life of once once they got to Windows Vista, things started getting locked down a little bit better. It's still Windows, so you can still very easily get around stuff. Um, but uh, back back then, it was super simple, and it's just so funny because Windows would have these options to disable stuff, but it would disable it in certain ways, but not others. And for example, uh, at my place of work, for a while they had disabled access to a majority of the hard drives. So, you know, you had your, your, your what in Linux would be called your home folder, your, your My Documents folder on Windows. And, um, but you weren't able to really access stuff on the rest of the C drive. Um, if you went to Windows Explorer or Internet Explorer, uh, and they disabled it so that you couldn't install uh, Firefox. So we had to use Internet Explorer, which is just crazy. It's like you trying to make your systems insecure. And, and I'm talking back in the days of 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 uh, IE six and stuff. Um, but what? Although I wasn't able to install Firefox, I you were able to get a copy of Firefox portable and put it on a flash drive and run it that way. And I quickly found that uh, and this is like ten years ago. Um, if I put Firefox Portable on a flash drive, or even on a folder on the hard drive, that's what it was. I would put it on a folder on, on the desktop and run it out of that folder. I was able to go into there, and then I was able to type in c colon backslash in the URL and not have write access to the hard drive, but I could access, I could read all the files and access stuff and execute programs. That's they also disabled, you know, a lot of the programs in the startup menu, but I was able to access them by going through Firefox by doing C colon backslash Windows, you know, uh, Sys32 or even program files. I was able to access it there. Again, Windows disabled it through their Windows programs, but didn't actually disable the user from being able to access that stuff. So I was able to go in and execute these programs. And actually, uh, I think through that, I was able to start up CMD and then I was able to actually write. That's what it was. I, was able, I wasn't able to start CMD from the start menu or the run menu, but I was able to load up Firefox, go to the C drive, go to the WinSys32 folder, and then I was able to double click or click on the CMD executable in Firefox and it would run that and then I had write access to the rest of the drive at which point I installed Doom. Uh, I then went to our IT guy at the time and informed him of this on how you could get around it uh, by using Firefox Portable off a flash drive and his he got angry with me and said well I guess I'll just have to disable the USB ports which again I didn't tell him but you could just run it off uh, a folder on the desktop plus how are you going to disable the USB drives with all the other stuff we have plugged in and it's just ridiculous again IT people and what they think they know. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.